The first thing we have to talk about is what's the difference between logging on to a computer and signing in to a computer? Well, no difference. It just they call it something different. And now we sign into a computer. We don't actually log into it. So let's go over that sign. And what we see here first is this beautiful rendition of kind of Seattle, I guess, with the Space Needle there and Mount Rainier in the background, otherwise known as Mount Tahoma. And then uh, in the foreground, some kind of green hill with a couple trees on it. Well, this is the splash screen that we see when we either lock up our computer or we haven't signed in yet. So quite simply, all we have to do is click. And that brings up our login screen. Now, you might have, oh, excuse me, sign in screen. You might have a different sign in screen than you're seeing in front of you here because you might have more than one person. You might have more than one account logging onto the computer and you might have a picture that looks somewhat different than the, um, uh, let's say generic looking person that you see in front of you. Now, a couple things about this. One, down here, what we have is the ease of access. So if you're coming into this computer, you need some extra help with the computer, it's all right here. We have the narrator that kind of guides us through, the magnifier that makes everything larger, and then the on-screen keyboard. And the on-screen keyboard, not necessarily for people that, that have some reason they can't gain access, but hey, you're on a touch screen and you don't have a keyboard. So you have it right there. I'm going to go ahead and close that. And then you see down here, we have the sticky keys, the high contrast. I'll go ahead and turn that on for you. And the idea behind this is that if you're a little bit seeing impaired, then you're going to be able to see these high contrast colors on the screen. Or perhaps you have a device that's out in the middle of nowhere, a lot of sun shining across the surface of it, so you can see better. Again, it's all about doing things better and, and um, accessing to what else we have. We have the sticky keys and the filter keys as well here. So without further ado, let's go ahead and it, I think it wants us to log in, log in, uh, sign in, sorry. And here we go. We'll type in the password. And it says welcome. And we get this spinning circle of dots to tell us it's working. And there we are. We're inside of the computer. So you can see it starts with the start screen. And then you do your thing. Now, going over signing out. Pretty much the same thing that we had before. There's a couple different approaches we can take to it. If you're just turning off your computer, you can put the mouse down here, see these little charming charms, and then we have settings. And from the settings, you can see right here, right here, power. So we can just shut this bad boy down by clicking on here, shut down or restart. But what we want to do is a little more formally, just click off the screen there. And then what we're going to see is right up here, where the user is, the li little user icon. Click on it and you can see, change account picture, no, lock, hey, maybe, or sign out. Now, the difference between lock and sign out. Sign out, you don't have a session on that computer anymore. All your programs are pretty much shut down. Lock, all your applications are still running, but uh, you just have this little uh, photo in front of you. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and sign out. And you see it right there, signing out. And we're back to our beautiful picture of Seattle again. So that is signing in and signing out of Windows 8.